The Da Vinci Code, an explosive murder mystery that claims to reveal the 2,000-year-old secret of the Holy Grail. It's Da Vinci's design. Inside is the secret location of the Holy Grail. Only the right code will open the cryptex. If it's forced or broken, the secret will be destroyed forever. The cryptex of the Dan Brown movie looks like a Da Vinci invention because it's very fascinating. In the movie they say that this is a, a safe, safe box, you can open it and find uh, some secrets inside. I was very fascinated with this tools because it is, is fascinating, it's a nice tool. And uh, I tried to find it uh, in, the, in the Da Vinci code, reality codes. This is a copy of one of Da Vinci's notebooks. It's called Folio B. On page 33, there's a series of schematics that some claim are blueprints of the cryptex that's featured in the film. If you focus on this picture, you can see something like a ring with mechanism around it that looks like exactly the cryptex. Mario Tadai makes his living creating the inventions designed by Leonardo. For the past year, he's been building the design thought to be da Vinci's cryptex with surprising results. So the real project of Leonardo in the page where they see the cryptex that is not true is this machine. It is two meters weight and two meters and a half height. Rather than being a coded safe, as in the film, in reality, Da Vinci's design is for a machine that harnesses gravity. It's one of the earliest known attempts to create perpetual motion, a mechanism that once started will never stop. Leonardo da Vinci was obsessed by these machines, uh, these perpetual motion machines. He designed hundreds of different uh, machines like this. But the Leonardo knows very well that uh, this machine cannot work because of the friction. So da Vinci's design on page 33 of his Folio B notebook isn't the cryptex used in the film. In fact, the cryptex is a clever figment of author Dan Brown's imagination, visualized on screen by the film's art department.